Hey guys, it's Gadget Guru HD here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys setting up Nova Launcher. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the Play Store, search up Nova Launcher, N O V A L A U N C H E R. And there is a Prime version which gives you extra swiping features and cool things like that, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the free version. So you're going to want to install that and go ahead and hit open. Once you get there, you're going to want to go into your app drawer. You guys can see this um, three dots going down. Normally on the stock Android Google launcher, you would see the Play Store icon there and it would just link you to the Play Store when you hit there. But this will actually show you guys um, a drop down menu for the Play Store, managing your apps, and Nova settings. So we are going to hit Nova settings, and this is basically the layout of all your settings and everything that you can edit and go into and change for this launcher. So I'm going to zoom in right here for you guys. So we're going to go into desktop, and you guys can see there are a ton of different features that the stock launcher doesn't have. So I actually prefer instead of five rows and four columns, I actually prefer six um, six rows. Um, there's there's just so many uh, different settings. Um, I don't ever like to have the search bar and you can even go back to the 4.0 ice cream sandwich search bar. This is great, um, especially even if you're still running Ice Cream Sandwich on whatever device you're on, um, that's it really kind of future proofs your your device a little bit. Even if you aren't running a ROM, and keep in mind though that this this launcher only works with uh, 4.0 devices and up. And you can also see the quality and arrangement of home screens. Whoops! So accidentally forgot to show you this real quick. So what you're going to want to do to make sure that this is your stock launcher is you're going to want to go into app drawer whoops, yeah, app drawer find Nova Nova launcher and you're going to want to go ahead and go back in your app drawer and go into Nova settings and select default home so you'll see the default one is the launcher, which you see on the left. And Nova Launcher is right here. You're going to want to hit Always. And that just, basically what that does is every time you press Home, it's going to bring you here. And I really like Nova Launcher because it gives you a lot of extra features that you don't get with the stock launcher. And let me just show you a couple examples. Um, you can long hold. And I really like this. You can go in and edit. And I actually don't have any images right now on my phone, but once I get some icons, you can actually go in right here, go from your files or whatever, and your Astro File Manager or whatever file manager you have, and you can actually change the icon of, like, for example, downloads. I also like Nova Launcher because it gives you um, different animations swiping through screens. I think the default one is a little bit... Uh, Actually, yeah, I think the default one is a little bit boring. But you can see this is a box right here, kind of like you're going through a, uh, around a cube, and there are a bunch of different other animations that they have. They also give you a awesome dock. You can swipe through your dock and have like four pages. So for example, if you like a minimalistic look on your screen, you can hide all of your apps that you use on a daily basis but don't really want to put on your screen on the bottom dock drawer. Um, you can even change the color and theme. Um, you can make, if you're one of those people that really designs and changes around, the screen of their phone and all that stuff you can change it from the um, like you guys can see right here 
on the bottom, that thing going back and forth is black. Its default is actually a light uh, baby tur turquoise blue and similar to the color up on the top right hand corner. This developer is um, extremely active, always adding new things and adding improvements to this app. And what I really like is that he still supports the free app. So this isn't just a freemium app that gives you a week or something and then you're forced to update to the newest version. Again, you can back up and import. So you guys, I know I love um, rearranging my home screens and all that stuff. So I can easily go from, say, uh, blue and black coloring to black and white. I can go back and forth between those two without worrying. Or if I install a new ROM and everything gets wiped out my phone, I can go back in and change everything from the Nova Launcher back to what it was before. You can set background transparency. So when I go in my app drawer, you guys can see through right through that. And I've tried every launcher. I've tried Apex. I've tried Go Launcher. I've um, tried just about every launch there is, and this one seems the most customizable and keeps. And actually, I'd say it's definitely smoother than the original launcher, just because this actually gives you a couple other settings. Let me just see if I can find them. Uh, right here, you guys see uh, scroll effect. You got card stack, which is also cool. There's just so many extra features, and you can. I, I was one of the original users of this app, or actually, when the beta came out. So I've been able to watch this app go from something like a simple launcher to a launcher with so many different features, and I'd really recommend this to all of you guys. Of course, there's the unread counts, but that is Nova Launcher Prime. And I haven't purchased the full app, but when I do, I'll definitely make a video. You can get rid of the icons being labeled and resize the widgets, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys this. Long holding is one of the things that I really liked from Gingerbread that they didn't keep. So you can actually long hold right here. Go into your widgets. I think it's a real pain having to go through your app drawer, swiping all the way over here, and dragging and dropping. It just seems much easier being able to oops, long hold widgets, long hold, and Nova actually even has their own shortcuts right here. They have activities. So Nova Launcher has a ton of features. I definitely recommend this uh, launcher to all of you guys. The potential of this launcher is immense. I mean it gives you so much more than the original stock launcher that um, Google gives you. Not to say that it's bad, but this just gives you so many more options, especially if you want the functionality of rooting your phone, but you don't want to actually do it. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this has been Gadget Guru HD. Make sure to subscribe, like, check out my other Nexus 4 videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.